Hola y bienvenidos. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today's topic is pretty privilege. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the vibe, share and comment. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now, pretty privilege. I associate this term mostly with women, but maybe it can apply to other people. Pretty privilege. Honey, when I started getting more comfortable with myself, I realized that I'm not hideous. So I didn't want to be hideous and I would put effort into my appearance. I wasn't the prettiest drop dead gorgeous girl 10 out of 10 oh my god break her neck look at me type of girl back then no but I had something working with me I was just pretty all right um pretty and a good vibe all right pretty pretty vibes pretty face that's important the vibes not just appearance but the vibes okay so if you think that you are average looking maybe even below average there is still hope baby you got it you got it one it's really about mastering a skill um mastering your sense of style how do you want to come off to the world appearance wise what does your hair look like what does your makeup look like well, how do you dress all right when you start putting more effort and attention on these things you will see a slight shift in how you feel about yourself and even how people treat you maybe some people will start opening the door up for you more um maybe people will cover you in line um you know things like that maybe someone will randomly ask for your number just because of the way that you're dressed or you can make business i don't fucking know but it will start to happen okay promise promise you just need to start really putting more effort if you don't think that you're confident enough learn how to do your makeup differently um maybe try wigs on all right do things that make you feel good all right but also pay attention to maybe trends. Maybe uh, hopping onto a trend can help you discover something new. But again, this goes beyond just appearance. You want to make sure that your vibes are right. Your aura is pretty. I am around the right people as well, which also influences my pretty privilege. So I'm friends with different people and... I feel comfortable enough to ask them if I want something, you know, like, oh, hey, can you buy me a slice of pizza? I don't have to say because. I don't say, oh, I don't say I don't because I don't have any money. I don't say because I don't want to pay for it. I'm just like, hey, can you buy me a slice of pizza? Yes or no? It's that simple. And most of the time, it's yes, because I ask nicely, um, because people want to do that for me. The reason why this video came to my head is because I was sparking up and I was looking at my stash and I was like, it's been months since I have purchased my own supplies. Seriously, seriously months. And um, maybe the last time I purchased something was November-ish, maybe November or October even, maybe even October. Um, and I'm in January right now. So let's say, I'll say November, December, January, three months I haven't had because people just give me things, all right? And I don't ask, I do not ask for these things specifically. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Most of the things that I've received is I haven't even asked for it. I, they just found their way to me. And I also want to attribute this to the power of affirmations. I have told myself long enough, I have more than enough. I have more than enough. I have more than enough. What I spend comes back to me multiplied. I tell myself these things over and over again. Boom. It didn't happen overnight. All right, honey. I had to build that belief in myself. But now looking back, I'm like, holy shit. I have more than enough 
of my stash. I wouldn't even be able to use it all today if I wanted to. Or today and tomorrow if I wanted to. Or today and tomorrow and the next day if I wanted to. No. Like, it, it is just, it's it's gotten to the point where I have more than enough. And it's just a really nice feeling. But this is a part of pretty privilege. Like, this is me being relaxed, open, receptive in my feminine energy where people just want to give to me. I'm not doing anything. I'm not ex overexerting myself. I'm not in my masculine energy trying to convince people, hey, or trying to make people do things for me. No, baby, that's the thing. My policy is I ask once. I ask once. And if it is, then so be it. If you don't want to do it, then fine. But asking twice sounds too close to begging. Too close to begging. You, uh, you heard me the first time. I let it go the second time but I also it gets stored I write a note in my little head and I'm like okay then give me this and maybe to your face I don't act any type of way everything is all Joe but I have a note in my head that you didn't give me everything that I want so being pretty it is like a status symbol Pretty women are status symbols. I don't understand it necessarily, other than the fact that people like to flex. People like to flex their money. People like to flex their possessions. People like to flex. Um, and so women are being flexed. Like, people shit on other people with how many women. You hear it in songs all the time. Understand that as much, okay? Women are super powerful, and we have something that it's just pure like we are this light we are the embodiment of love of beauty and men masculine men can recognize this it's what they crave they yearn it they need it they need feminine essence they really do um without feminine essence their life is very bland baby like seriously um if that that, that goes for like straight people i guess i would have to preference that like this is for straight people um because i don't know how it works in other dynamics but yeah masculine men really feed off of feminine energy like feminine energy we're really good at res being receptive feeling open feeling just feeling and embodying um all like all the good things pleasure all of that and so when we taste something good and we're like, oh my god, this tastes so good. And we're like really basking in that energy. Men get to experience that by watching us. <laughs> by watching us. We provide an experience for men. I don't understand it. I just know that this is how it goes. Men are technically like predators and we are the prey. Um, there's really so much that goes into it. But knowing that, like, they just observe us. They observe us. They feed off of us and our energy. That's why it's very important to be cautious of who you surround yourself with, all right? Pretty energy, pretty people deserve pretty things. That is my case. Um, and you don't have to go out of your way to negotiate or force it to happen, babe. Find someone who will do it for you effortlessly. Like, duh, duh. Save your time, save your energy. Those people that you are dealing with who are interested in you, they should be in your, their masculine energy to pursue you. To give you what you want, all right? Um, you really have no other job than just to be pretty and a good person. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the vibe, share your thoughts, and in the comments, please. Thank you. I would love to know what you think. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening. You are super beautiful. Every day and every way, life gets better and better. Bye.